in this video I'll show you how to fix a charging cable uh, in this case I'm using an Apple charging cable that is larger than a heat shrink tube using heat shrink now you could there are other ways to fix it I mean you could use heat shrink tape or wiring tape just to fix an exposed cable but if you really want to use heat shrink uh, and the cable is the the ends of the cable is are thicker than the heat shrink how are we going to get it on there now I'm using an Apple 30 pin cable which is roughly 8 to 9 years old so it's a really old cable and it's finally given way uh, the end near the 30 pin connector has come out I've done it to a lightning cable before uh, which got nicked for under a pair of scissors but this is a 6 millimeter heat shrink tube and it easily fits around the lightning cable like that so I didn't have any issue with that but this is a 30 pin cable and the only heat shrink that would fit around a 30 pin cable is a 15 millimeter one so but that won't shrink down to the thickness of this cable so that defeats the purpose so I'll show you how to do that with a 6 millimeter or maybe you can use an 8 millimeter heat shrink tube I preferably 8 millimeter uh, on a larger cable you can do this for any other cable uh, that's larger than the tube you're going to fix, uh, the, the, the cable you're going to fix. So let's get started. What you're going to need for this is obviously heat shrink, uh, a lighter with a control valve. Uh, make sure the light has a control valve. You want the lowest possible flame as possible. Uh, glue. Now I'm using uh, rubber based glue here, which is not the best, but that's all I got now. Uh, my super glue is hardened over. Uh, it's completely hard, but I you you preferably should use super glue, but this would work too, uh, rubber based glue. But make sure when you apply it, make sure it's completely solidified before applying the flame. Or this stuff is highly flammable, because you're gonna apply a direct flame to it. So do this at your own risk, uh, cause and do this in an open environment so that nothing nothing catches fire. Uh, yeah, so. Let's get started. First, what you're gonna do is now you may have noticed my setup is quite bad. Uh, it's a paper clip, uh, a glue can, and a screwdriver. But of course, I recommend using helping hands of uh, soldering helping hands to do this, or any clipping device that's made to hold up things. But I use this setup many times, uh, but not for this application. I used it for this cable, but uh, an open. Uh, fixing a 30 pin cable, a damaged 30 pin cable, I did the first time I'm doing it. So first what you're going to do is gonna, you're going to cut the heat shrink lengthwise like I've done here. Cut it evenly lengthwise and put it over the cable. That's the only way you could do it. Put it over the cable like that. And we'll take this down. Okay. So what you're going to do is we're going to glue the ends of the cable preferably glue them tightly on so that you have to apply lesser heat later than this thing so let's glue that it's gonna be kinda of hard to do this with okay so you're gonna glue the ends of it like that not too much glue just a little bit to hold it in place because the glue will probably melt off later when you apply heat is my glue tube stuck? Uh, this is rubber based glue like I said be careful it's highly flammable when you apply the flame make sure it's dried up completely uh, before you do apply the flame so put some glue like that don't use too much uh, that was a bit too much but okay let me just close the tube Okay, so now you're, what you're going to do is take the other end and put it over this, put it over this like that, make sure it sticks to the glue, just hold it in place for a while because uh, this is um, quite elastic and it will spring back and the glue won't stick, hold it in for a while and just wait till it sets. Uh, it'll take around properly I'd recommend one hour to set why well, yeah one hour would be optimum 
and yeah just give it one hour to set so while it's cooling uh, you can just hold it in place like that uh, using a paper uh, clip like thing I don't know what the thing is called paper holder uh, you can just hold it in place like that till it's cooling uh, so get around one hour but I'd recommend two hours I'll keep this for two hours just in case okay so now that the glue has uh, dried uh, we're gonna continue with the rest of this fix uh, as you can see it has dried I left it for about three hours at the end so now what you gotta do next is take this the the heat shrink and put it over the slide it over the damaged part like that I'm also gonna cover this plastic bit just in case just for the sake of it or should I not oh, I'll, I'll just cover the plastic piece in case okay so now just put it like that over the damaged place I just took a bit longer like I said I took it a bit longer up to here it's only damaged like around here but just to make it sturdy so now let's hold the lighter let me get the camera hold the lighter in place like that and hold it in place and short bursts of flames just like that you might want to get the burnt side in as well cause that is otherwise it's gonna separate I noticed another thing that you might think that this will separate at the point where it uh, the point where it uh, is has been cut but I noticed in a previous experiment uh, I just tested it out that the inside of the heat shrink actually turns into molten um, molten rubber when you burn it so that molten rubber cools down and sticks to the inside so then that means that this edge will also melt and the inside of this edge will also melt and stick so either way if the, the gum is burnt out the, the molten rubber will still stick so you don't have to worry about that so let's burn it again A bit of glue might catch on fire as that is uh, rubber based glue it might catch on fire but that's okay you just blow it out so you can see it's shrinking now let's hold a bit to here might want to squeeze it in a bit like that at the at the joint where it has been cut but be careful to not burn your fingers so it's already quite sh shrunk just let me just burn it a bit more maybe I'll use this to push it up and I don't want to burn my fingers and this rubber if it comes off it will stick to your fingers and that's gonna hurt so be careful of that is that all it goes this like I said this is a sick sorry about that my camera ran out of memory but anyway I've been heating this for up for a while now and it's shrunk to its maximum I think and from what I said uh, this was a six millimeter uh, thick heat shrink and it's shrunk to its maximum let me just hope this edge hasn't gone in completely let me just hold that a bit more okay Squish that in with your fingers. Uh, surprisingly, this heat shrink is not, it does not hold heat that for that long. It, it, it's kind of safe to touch, even after holding the flame for that long. I don't know why, man. tell me in the comment section why that, that is. Maybe heat shrink has a, uh, what do you call that, heat, heat, I think that's called heat capacity. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, it doesn't stay hot for long, it dis its heat dissipates easily. Uh, maybe it's the type of rubber used or something so that's as much as this heat shrink would shrink and it's actually shrunk completely onto the wire as you can see there let me get that to focus as you can see there it's completely shrunk onto the wire and a bit of the wire at the edge has melted and that's a good thing because now it's completely sealed on the side so that's a good thing now let's take this off hope the plastic has melted the edge take this off um, I'm 
really hoping the plastic has melted. I covered it up in a lot of um, foil. Oh no, it's perfect. There's nothing. Okay, so job well done. Uh, the plastic hasn't melted. Uh, the heat shrink has melted completely well onto the wire and this part is okay so yeah that concludes it for this video that's how to use heat shrink on a how to fix a wire using smaller heat shrink uh, and or a wire that uh, or where a heat shrink could not fit on the wire like i said you just cut it so yeah that's how to do it uh, if you like this video don't forget to like uh, like the video and if you want to see more videos like this uh, don't forget to subscribe mm, so yeah that's it thanks for watching